Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the anniversary gifts that I received from my husband. And we recently celebrated our wedding anniversary and he totally spoiled me this time. And I thought I would share with you the gifts that he picked out for me. So I received from him both Pandora and Troll Beads. The Pandora items were a total surprise. He went out on his own and he picked these ones out for me. Whereas the Troll Beads, I did know about those because he needed help to know where to buy them from. Not quite as easy as Pandora to purchase Troll Beads, so you do have to buy them online where I live. So let's get started right away and I will share with you my Pandora gifts and then the Troll Beads. And in this first box here, I received the anniversary charm. So believe it or not, this is my very first anniversary charm from Pandora because I've kind of refused to buy this one for myself. So my husband did pick this one out because it is a two-tone and he does love the two-tones and I'll share it with you up close. And I have not yet taken it out of the box. So this is gonna be new for me too. When I looked this one up on Pandora's online store, it calls it the two-tone happy anniversary dangle charm. And you do see those two tones right on top. So it looks like there's two champagne flutes, could be wine glasses. Um, they're kind of together and then you have a heart at the very top that's joining them. And underneath that first heart, you have happy anniversary in script beautiful CZs going around the heart and it matches the veil and the back is totally plain. So I love this one. I love that my husband gifted this one to me and it is a beautiful two-tone. Now we'll open up this box here and this one totally shocked me that he picked this out. And these are the glittering sunset Muranos. I am absolutely shocked that he actually picked these out on his own. These were on the top of my wish list and there were so many occasions that I have seen this beautiful Murano in different videos and pictures and it was hard but I kept it on the wish list and I'm so glad I did because he gifted these to me. So let me take these out of the box and I'll give you just a quick close up. I know you have seen these Muranos before but I'll put them on the charm bar. As you can appreciate, all of Pandora's items are unique, especially the glasswork. And so I asked my husband, I'm like, did you pick these out? Like, did you look at quite a few of them or did the sales associate pick them out? And he said they did not have many to choose from. They only had five of these remaining in the store. He knew I would like three of them. So he chose the three that he liked the most. So I am very happy with him. And this first one here probably has the most glitter. And my favorite part of these Muranos are the orange and the yellow. And then I do prefer just a touch of the pink. So this is stunning. I am so happy to have this one in my collection. The middle one probably has the least amount, but it has more of an ombre feel to it because the orange is pretty pale. And I actually really like this one as well because it's just a little bit more softer. It's not so defined where the colors begin and end. And then this one here is a nice compliment as well. So you've got a lot of glitter there and he did a fantastic job. I'm just so impressed. So love having these in my collection and I cannot wait to play with them. So now I'm going to share the Troll Beads items that he purchased for me. And the first one is this beautiful necklace set here. So this one he picked out and I did know about it. Uh, so it was nice because I had some input as well. And he is totally new to Troll Beads. So he didn't really understand what a fantasy necklace was. But when I explained it to him, this one here is um, the fantasy necklace. It's my first and it is so special. I love the shape of the pearl on this. I really like that it's round, a little bit more rounded than long oval. And then I believe the glass bead on this one, I believe it is called a diamond bead in ice blue. And if I'm wrong, please let me know because I would love to know what its actual name is. But I think it's the diamond bead and I think it's ice blue. And then it came with this beautiful giant lotus and 
the way it just kind of nestles a glass bead inside of itself like that, that is just so unique. I love troll beads for that. They just kind of seem to think outside of the box. And yeah, that is just really, really special. So I am so happy to have not only a fantasy necklace, but now this beautiful pendant. And I think you can also wear the giant lotus on a bracelet design. So I'll be experimenting with that as well. Underneath the giant lotus is a little copper spacer. So this is my third of the copper spacer and I do think I need to give it a cleaning. It just looks a little bit dull, but overall, like I am just absolutely thrilled with having my first fantasy necklace and this beautiful bead and especially this pendant as well. So looking forward to having another way to design my troll beads. In addition to the necklace, uh, both my husband and I really appreciate natural gemstones. The nat just anything natural, like we just gravitate towards that. And so he was really inspired when he saw the different stones that troll beads have for sale. And he picked this one out for me. And it is the Feldspar Azurite Rock. And while I appreciate the natural stones, I'm not always the best at pronouncing them, but I think he did a great job. Like this is stunning, that color of blue and then how you have the veining of the gray has a little sparkle to it, especially because it is faceted. And I think it's gonna go really well with my snowflake obsidian and my moss agate. So. Let me grab those and let's see how they look. Okay, so here are four of the stones that I think go really well together. And I think I wanna try a bracelet design with it. So this one here is what I just received, the Feldspar Azurite. And then this is my Snowflake Obsidian, the Moss Agate. And then I remembered I have this beautiful Agate Dentritic that I received as one of my gift with purchases from Troll Beads Canada. So beautiful, beautiful rocks. And I think these look really nice together. In addition to the Azurite rock, he also picked out another stone for me. And that is this beautiful ruby rock. And you can see the ruby crystallizations inside of the rock. This run has so many variations that I've seen. It goes from light to dark, and I think this darker one is stunning. So this is the one that he chose for me because he thought it would match the others really well that I have in my collection. And I think he did a really good job. Ruby Rock is one of these um, gemstones that I can see having more than one in my future. Um, I probably would like to try to get one of the lighter ones now that I have a darker one, but I can definitely see where he was coming from. It looks especially nice with the Snowflake Obsidian and all of these just look really nice together. Just love those natural stones, so pretty. And this one just has a little bit of a flash there. Can you see what I'm seeing? Just has a little glow to it as well. And the final bead he picked out for me is roses for mom. So my husband's a romantic. He loves to surprise me with flowers. And when he saw this one, he's like, that is stunning. I cannot believe they put so much detail into one glass charm and they do. They look like beautiful roses. And so this one he picked out. This was a limited release for Mother's Day 2017. I'm not sure if it's retired now or if it's just like a limited release. Once it's sold out, it's gone. But I am super happy to have this one in my Troll Beads collection. And the colors of it are just stunning. So I can't wait to design with this one as well. So these are the anniversary gifts that I received from my husband this year, and I just absolutely love them. I think he always does such a great job when he picks out presents for me, so well done. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed watching this video, and as promised, here is a wedding photo. So thanks for watching, everybody. You take care. Bye-bye.